So in this video, I'm going to be going over the three financial statement functions for Trade Defender. The balance sheets function, the income statements function, and the cash flow statements function. The reason that I'm going to go over all three of these functions at once is because they share the same parameters, all of them, in the same order. The only thing that differs between the three of them is that they have different column names. The only other exception to that is that balance sheets only has two period types, which we'll learn about in a moment. There are no, there's no such thing as a 12 trailing months balance sheet. So, but we'll start by looking at balance sheets to begin with. We'll start by typing equal sign and then the name of our function, balance sheets. And then our first parameter, as always, is our app key, which I have in cell C2. And then we type a ticker. So here I'll type TWTR for Twitter. And then after that, we have our start date and our end date. So here we specify from when we'd like to start seeing financial statements to when we'd like to stop seeing financial statements. So here, I'll start by typing, say, February 10th, 2013. The date format for Trade Defender functions is always the same. We start with the full four digit year, so 2013, and then a dash, and then a two digit month. So I said February, so zero two and then a two digit day. And I think I said the 10th, so I'll type in 10. After that, we have our end date. So we'll make this one year and one month. So 20, whoop, 2014, 03, 10. So we're gonna be looking at the balance sheets from February 10th, 2013 to March 10th, 2014. After that, we have order by. And what order by allows us to do is specify the order that we'd like to see the balance sheets come in by date. So by default, it's ASC for ascending, or we can make it DESC for descending. So we'll leave it with that. And then after that, we have columns. So if we leave this blank, all of the columns will be returned, or we can specify a specific set of columns in the order that we'd like to see them. So what we'll do is type a double quote and then period end date and then LT underscore liabilities for long term liabilities and then net common stock and then we'll close that up with another double quote and remember to separate these columns with commas our next parameter is values only what values only allows us to do is specify whether or not we'd like to see column headers or not. By default, we do see column headers and it's set to zero, but if we'd like to remove them, we change that to a one. We'll leave that at zero for now. And then our next parameter is period type. So by default, it's set to Q for quarterly, but if we wanted to see annual data, we just type an A, we'll leave it at quarterly for now. And then with the income statements and the cash flow statements, you can also type TTM for 12 trailing months. But since, as I said before, balance sheets don't have 12 trailing month data, we only have A and Q for balance sheets. After that, we have transform. What transform allows us to do is specify whether we'd like the data to be returned vertically or horizontally. By default, it's set to zero for vertically, but if we'd like the data to be returned horizontally, we'd set that to a one. We'll leave that at zero for now, and then we'll type a close parentheses and enter. And here we see the period end date, long-term liabilities, and net common stock for Twitter. Now, if we want to see all of the columns, we just remove this here, and all of the columns will be returned. So here we have everything. Now, if we want to see all of the data, period, over that quarterly period type, we'd remove the start date and the end date as well. And that's all of the quarterly data in the balance sheets for Twitter. Now, as I mentioned before, the parameters for balance sheets and the parameters for cash flow statements and income statements are all the same. So we can switch this out, income statements, hit enter, and there is all the income statement data. If you want to see all the cash flow statement data again, cash flow statements and all of that is loaded. 
Now, if you have questions about these functions or other functions on Trade Defender, please visit tradedefender.com slash docs or email us at support at tradedefender.com. Thank you.